Hello, everybody out there in YouTube land. Bill Allen Hensley coming to you live well, recording from Cobblestone, New York. I just fell hard on the ice and snow, and I'm hurting. On my way to help out the front. But here's the deal. All right. Mayor of New York City, Eric Adams went on a racist tirade aimed at white people and you got all these motherfucking supposedly okay, conservative black people Sticking up for them, saying how it's not as bad as the N word, and if you find that offensive, you got some thin skin. I'm talking about you, Arch Twins. Yeah, I watch you, and normally I agree with you, but this time you're off the fucking mark. It ain't about having thick skin or thin skin or taking something, you know, out of context or whatever. The point of that line is this. He said a racist slur. He said a racial slur. If a white man had stood up in front of a bunch of the white folks and been talking about what he was talking about and used the N-word, I'll be nice because one, I'm on here then, man, and this would be rightly so, that man would deserve every bit of an ass whooping he got. But, for you black people to defend this guy because he's black and he's a racial slur against white people for you to defend him like it's oh it's no big deal it's not as bad as you know the n-word or the f-word or you know if you take fits at it you got thick you got thin skin no racism is racism is racism is racism is racism is racism i don't give a fuck who you are uh, if you're an orange Martian with green, yellow, and neon purple fucking polka dots and fucking neon light fucking lime green fucking colored hair, and you're saying the term cracker or nigger or whatever to a different race, you're a racist. I don't care. Uh, and just say, no, I'm not racist. That, I use it just in and to give context. Uh, Eric Adams is a mayor of New York City. And he's at a group where he's giving a speech. And they even tried to say, well, he was going after everyone. Look, as a part of his speech, he says, I don't want to do this. You have people saying that, you know, they can do it. And I'm like, well, Negro, if you think you can, you can up here raise seven million dollars and you do it. Because he said that, they're like, well, he's taking, he's going after everybody. No. First of all, Negro ain't racist. It's an old-fashioned term meant to describe a black person. It's not racist. Technically, if you look up in Webster's Dictionary, the definition of Negro simply states a black man or woman. That could be considered a racial slur. However, the word nigger says someone who is lazy, ignorant, 
incompetent and don't want to learn anything or contribute anything. It says nothing about race. So that cannot be a racial slur. If you want to follow, quote, unquote, the science and follow what words really mean. But the fact that you got these supposed conservatives out there uh, basically saying he did nothing wrong, that pisses me off. Not because I'm offended, not because I think he said, you know, he said something racial because he's black. No. What pisses me off is the fact that he did say something racial. And you have people covering up for him, apologizing for him, or saying he didn't, it wasn't that bad of a say. I'm sorry, but where I come from, if you say something, you have to take responsibility for the words that come out your mouth. I don't care where you are or what you're doing. If you are an adult over the or at least over the age of six of thirteen. Where you can know what you're saying, you have to take responsibility for the words that come out of your mouth. Now, it wasn't right for him to say it. It's not right for anyone to try to downplay it for him. He fucked up. He should have to apologize for it. Admit that he fucked up. He made a mistake. He shouldn't have said it. He shouldn't have done it. And then we moved the fuck forward. In the discussion. In the story. Plain and simple. But because he's black. That's not what's going to happen. What's going to happen. Is he won't apologize for it. It'll get swept under the rug. Just like with this whole whoopee thing. You know, in two weeks, she'll be back on The View, no apology, no nothing, and then it gets swept under the rug as if not never happened. Well, I'm sorry, that's not white privilege. That is black privilege, liberal privilege. Uh, white privilege doesn't exist. However, I can show you case after case after case after case where liberal privilege, Hispanic privilege, black privilege all exist. Think of that. It's always the squeakiest wheel that gets the grease. In other words, it's always the people who yell the loudest who get the attention. However, it's human nature to fucking say someone else is doing something that you're doing to deflect the attention off of you. Now, I gotta get in here and help out a friend. So, that's all for this video. As usual if you like what i've said give me a thumbs up if you're new so and you like what i had to say even if you didn't but you want to hear more subscribe hit the bell notification so you get notified when i put when i make videos this is probably my third or fourth video in a couple of days i've actually been making a lot of them lately it's really good i'm getting in the habit of it think for yourself, do your own research into everything that you hear, see, read, whatever. Research it yourself with an open, logical, scientific mind. Make up your own mind about what 
every you see and everything that you've researched. And then make sure that it's in line with your principles and stick to it no matter what. Stick to it. It's called sticking to your guns when you stay with what you believe in. So until then, I'll be seeing you.